Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw a skull with a sombrero. This is gonna be real easy and really simple. Uh, so it's gonna be for beginners. If you're a beginner, stick around. Uh, it's gonna be, you should be able to do this whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna be using this marker right here, a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen, big brush. Uh, and paper-wise, I'm gonna be using regular computer paper. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with um, kind of a line over here where the sombrero crosses the skull itself. And so I'm gonna kind of do that right away. Alrighty, I'm gonna pull down to the side of the skull, down. I'm gonna pull out some lines over here, outward, for kind of the cheekbone area. Down here, in. Down here, in. That's gonna, uh, gonna again gonna be the skull area. Downward, pull around, up. We're going to form a box over here for one of the eye sockets. So it's kind of like a rounded box. Think of like a marshmallow. I'm going to go over here and do the same shape for the other eye. This is where we're drawing the eye socket shape. Going in here for the nasal cavity, and that's really going to be uh, more or less just a triangle. And you could either close that off, uh, you know, in many different ways. You could do a little arch or you could just do it straight across. I'm gonna fill that in. And I'm also gonna fill in the eyes here. So everything we're doing is we're thinking in simple shapes. So when you think of kind of anything in simple shapes, you can technically draw anything. And that's, that's kind of the window to that uh, is when you think of very, very simplistic forms. Um, so right off the bat, uh, sorry, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe. Whenever you subscribe, uh, it really boosts the channel a bit uh, with the algorithm. It kind of favors us. The other thing is when you subscribe, I'm going to be posting three times every single day and you're going to get an easy lesson. So if you kind of like drawing in general and you want to learn a little bit more, um, you're gonna get an easy lesson three times every single day. So when you subscribe, it's gonna let you know about, I don't know, it's gonna let you know for about 25% of those. It's not gonna let you know about all of them. I, I really doubt that. Um, but yeah, there's no there's no downside. It's free to subscribe. If you do find this stuff worth your time, uh, I encourage you. Uh, but yeah. All right, now we're gonna go down here and draw the lower portion of the mouth, which I think is called the uh, mandible. Kind of that lower portion. I'm gonna pull these straight lines down the, the right and left. Pulling down here, the, the end of the jaw. So we're going down to the chin. And then pulling across the chin itself. Going over here. Pulling outward for the sombrero itself. Outward over here, it's a bit like a cur curl up. And I'm gonna pull one large curve across the whole thing. Be careful, that that curve is gonna be dangerous. Uh, be aware of like the control you need for that. I always say this in a, well, I don't always say this, but I say this in every few videos. Um, if you need to gain control with your hand, um, do exercises on a separate sheet of paper beforehand. Um, so for example, you can draw circles, right? Uh, counterclockwise and clockwise, just on a separate sheet of paper. Uh, or if you wanna pull long strokes, like put a dot on one side and a dot on the other and try to connect those in one shot, you know? Like try to connect them. That's a great exercise and it gives you this really good hand control. Also, when you do that, you learn not to anchor your, um, so you anchor your wrist normally, the because we write like this. But a better idea is to kinda be able to move it anywhere. See, I can kind of move it all over. Um, and I'm using more so my arm and my, my, sorry, my shoulder and my elbow when I do that. And it really gives you a, a tremendous amount of control when you learn to do this more. And I can go right back to this for small strokes right here, like boom, right there, I'm doing that. 
you know, like I am using my, my I am just kind of anchoring, but uh, like that stroke, there's no way I could just anchor my hand. I'd have to pull it like this. Uh, but just kind of consider that. Like uh, I was gonna say, there's there's no downside to doing that. Um, you know, when you do practice that, because you're just gonna gain a lot of control. Because because a lot of this stuff, you're using muscles you've never used if you're a complete beginner. There's a lot of stuff in your hand and arm you just you just don't use that way. We don't use that when we're writing, so it's like a different kind of thing. Um, anyways, that was just a small note. Pulling over here the top portion of the hat, the sombrero, and it's kind of be almost like a bullet top, bullet tip, I guess. Alrighty, and we need a design on this hat, so I'm gonna pull. See, this is what I mean. Here's another one. We're gonna pull almost a, an identical line to this top one here. And we're gonna do another one. See, like that kind of stroke could be kind of potentially dangerous. Um, let's do the easy part, which is we're gonna we're gonna go over here. We're gonna throw some dots, and that's just kind of the show design on the hat. So see that dot dot, and I'm gonna run it all the way across, all the way across. So while I'm doing that, let me talk to you a little bit. Um, hopefully you're having a great time. Uh, I think uh, drawing is one of the most rewarding, amazing things you can ever do. Uh, as far as a creative aspect to it, I think it involves so much. Like it gives you uh, the ability to go into other stuff easily, a little easier. Like I can go, I went into graphic design and I already knew how to draw and, and it really gives you a leg up on everybody else. I'm gonna do the same dots above this line. And, you know, just kind of knowing the process, the fact that you learn to draw, that learning process really helps you in other learning endeavors. Because when you learn, learning how to learn is something. That is, that is something. Um, that's what school's good for. I, I noticed I really learned that in college. Um, you learn how to learn. Like, you learn that things take, you know, a process. And you're like, okay, how do I break that down into learnable, you know, learnable steps to get this in my long-term memory, whatever the skill it is, whether it's play, playing guitar, whether it be learning about um, uh, history, you know, like, how do I remember that? Like, okay, you just either you find an interest in it or can you break that down into, you know, smaller segments of history or, or um, you know, just learning, learning how to learn is huge. And it's weird because drawing taught me that. I mean, I learned it in college, but I was always kind of, I drew a little bit, um, a little bit before college. So I kind of had that process down. I really, really learned it way more in college though. Um, but learning how to learn, kind of be aware of that. Uh, because some people don't know, how, like, have, I don't know if you've met people like this, but some people don't know how to do anything. <laughs> They've never learned a skill in their life. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line across over here for the mouth and I'm gonna draw some teeth in there. Some people never learned how to draw, uh, never learned how to learn anything. And it's obvious. And you don't want to be one of those people really learn a skill and this is a great one to learn drawing in general is so rewarding um and it's a never it's a never-ending process too i'm still learning stuff i'm still learning about right now i'm learning about um on my own private time i'm learning about drawing robots more so i'm like studying um i'm drawing lines over here just on the side of the head to make it give it more texture i mean more texture more dimension um, I'm learning about drawing robots right now, so I'm learning, I'm going over mechanical engineering stuff, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm going through, I'm trying to learn shapes for the most part, and, you know, it's, it's like a never, and you never stop learning as far as drawing goes, and, and I guess for a lot of skills too, so, anyways, that is pretty much it, thank you so much, if you do want to help the channel out, please share the video, every time you share the video, it brings a huge boost to the channel, a, a, lot, a lot of new people, and, I'm going to keep posting every single day till the end of the year here. So uh, give me suggestions because I need them. Talk to you later.